And right now, Mount Tabor High School students and staff are back in their classrooms for the first time since tragedy struck the school last week. Last Wednesday, a gunman opened fire in the school building, killing 15 year old classmate William Miller Jr. The Versailles County Sheriff has identified the suspect as another student, but the district attorney has released minimal information because right now it's a juvenile case. Today, the focus turned to healing and unity. At the door this morning, students and staff saw extra security, but also so many words of encouragement. All over campus and inside the building, there are reminders of the school's theme, Spartan Strong. Right now, WFMY News 2's Denise McMiller is live outside Mount Tabor with what the atmosphere was like as students and staff went back. Hi, Denise. Well, I was here this morning as parents dropped off their students, and I must say it was a very emotional morning for many students, and it's understandable after such unimaginable events took place last week. Parents made it their mission to walk their children into the school building this morning, and they were met with lots of love and support as they entered. There were comforting hugs from faculty members and some even praying with one another and affirming messages of hope and unity lined the walkway into the building to remind students they're not alone and to ease the anxiety of returning after the tragic loss of a beloved classmate. A large police presence was on campus. We understand the emotions. I have kids in the public school system. I have a son in high school. And we're going to ensure them that we're going to put all of our resources on the table to ensure that their children are safe, to ensure that they continue to pursue their education and ease some of their burden. And as the governor said, we're going to double down on our resources. All high schools in the Winston-Salem Forsyth County School District have an increased police presence today. Sheriff Kimbrough says he hopes to continue to do this as long as the resources are available. And the student who opened fire and is accused of killing William Miller Jr. is in police custody.